Mattis Law Group, New Jersey Living Trust Attorney, New Jersey Revocable Living Trust Attorneys, New Jersey Trust Attorney. Experienced New Jersey Living Trust Attorney. A living trust ensures that your assets will be distributed according to your wishes and makes the situation as stress-free as possible for your heirs. It is a myth that only the elderly or the wealthy need to worry about asset management in New Jersey. It is important for anyone with significant assets to be concerned about how their assets will be managed or dispersed to their heirs when they are no longer able. For many individuals, having a revocable living trust can be the best way to do this. Planning for the future In today's world, it is more important than ever to plan for the future. That is why at the Mattis Law Group in New Jersey, we have dedicated our firm to asset management and estate planning for families just like yours. How Revocable Living Trusts Work A living trust is prepared during your lifetime to ensure that you have access to assets while you are alive. The trust is funded with your assets and you can act as trustee of the trust. In most cases, the majority of your assets will be placed in the trust. The trust then officially owns the assets. This leaves nothing titled to you, so upon your death, your assets can be passed to your beneficiaries through the trust without having to go through probate. What property or assets can you place in New Jersey trusts? Any assets can be placed in a living trust, including Your primary residence Investment properties Bank accounts Retirement plans Stocks Bonds IRAs Businesses Insurance policies Cash How can assets be distributed to your beneficiaries? After you pass away, the successor trustee will distribute assets in accordance with the terms of the trust. There are three primary ways that you can pass assets to your beneficiaries. As outright distributions, you can opt to give assets directly to beneficiaries without restriction. As staggered distributions, you can opt to give assets over time as staggered payments or upon triggering events. As discretionary distributions, you can allow the trustee to determine when the beneficiary receives assets from the trust. Some examples of these types of trusts are spendthrift trusts or special needs trusts. Who can act as a successor trustee? The successor trustee has a great deal of responsibility. 
he or she is responsible for investing any assets prudently in the best interests of the beneficiaries. The trustee must also file state and federal income taxes for the trust and provide accountings to all beneficiaries. Consequently, you want to ensure that the individual you choose as your successor trustee is capable and responsible in taking on this role. The Benefits of a Revocable Trust Like other forms of estate planning and asset management, revocable living trusts have their benefits and their disadvantages. While it is not an option for everyone, having a trust can be particularly beneficial for those who have significant assets, property in other states, special needs loved ones, or have a large extended family where probate can become complex and time-consuming. Is a living trust right for you? Some questions that your New Jersey Living Trust attorney may ask when consulting with you are Will it benefit your beneficiaries to avoid probate? Do you own real property in other states? Are there children from previous marriages who may be at risk of disinheritance? Is your spouse or other beneficiaries capable of making good decisions or handling complex financial matters? Do you have sons or daughters-in-law that you are concerned about in the case of divorce or your child's death? Do you have beneficiaries who are at risk of losing public benefits if they receive an inheritance? Are there privacy concerns? What are some benefits of a living trust? Living trusts have some distinct benefits. Most grantors choose living trusts to allow their beneficiaries to avoid probate. If you own out-of-state real estate property, a living trust will allow you to avoid probate from that state. If you have children from a previous marriage, you will want to ensure that those children benefit from your estate instead of all assets going to your spouse. If your spouse or other beneficiaries are not capable of or are not yet of an age to make good financial decisions or handle the complexities of your assets, it can be advantageous to keep assets managed by a trustee more capable of managing complex assets or large amounts of money. Once assets are distributed to your heirs, they then become part of your beneficiary's estate. Do you have a special needs beneficiary who may lose public assistance if they receive a substantial inheritance? Many families want privacy when it comes to the death of a family member. If you create a living trust, do you still need a will? While a living trust can be advantageous for many individuals, there are some things a living trust cannot do. You still need a will if You have minor children, a trust cannot name a guardian for your children. If you have minor children, you will still need a will to name a guardian in the event that you become incapacitated or die. There are properties or assets you have not placed in the trust. If you have not placed all your assets in the trust, 
the trust will not be able to transfer them. Without a will, any property not included in the trust will then be distributed in accordance with New Jersey interstate laws. Call us at 732-281-0060 or fill out our online contact form.